The Lord is God, we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, devoted to us as a Father, you created us as a sign of your power and elected us your people to show your goodness. Accept the thanks your children offer that all may enter your courts praising you in song. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many and their guilt he shall bear. Therefore I will give him his portion among the great, and he shall divide the spoils with the mighty, because he surrendered himself to death and was counted among the wicked, and he shall take away the sins of many and win pardon for our offenses. this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, even as he's humbled himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread and wine to offer fruit of field and vine, work of human hands, may they become for us our spiritual food and drink. For bless you, God, God, forever. Pray, my brothers, that these and all of our gifts be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Pray the Lord is set the sacrifice to our hands, for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all this church. Amen. Lord, bless the gifts we have prepared and make them acceptable to you as a lasting source of salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And also with you, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give you thanks and praise. We like to, uh, in postulancy, we study the life of St. Francis, and we like to, to, as we study his life, try to understand these things. So we know he came from a very wealthy merchant family, a spoiled kid who had the world at his feet, where he could do almost anything he wanted. You know, the playboy, the party boy, uh, the whole everything was on him. Come on, let's party! My, I got the money. We can make it happen. You know, this is what was going on for him. But then a series of experiences that just seemed to really tear at that. Uh, going to war losing at war, being taken a prisoner because he lost at war for maybe a year and then becoming very sick, which often is part of being in a medieval prison and not really quite getting over that. All these kinds of experiences just causing him to put that world into question. But then he didn't really do this very well. He actually tried to go back to his old world. He tried to go back to war again. And on the way, just came to realize, no, this is not right. Um, I got to do something else. And just really withdrew himself. Uh, in Assisi, not doing the things that he used to always do. Um, going out into the countryside, spending a lot of time in prayer, being alone out in the country, but also um, being in the middle of tons of people. There's a moment at which Francis went down to Rome, sat 
at the front door of the old St. Peter's. This was before the Pope lived there, before the Vatican existed. It was a cemetery with a church in it. And he went up to a beggar and he said, let's change clothes. He had the beggar's clothes on and he sat in front of the church at Rome and begged for days. This, this was his withdrawal. He was putting it together. But nobody knew him. He didn't look like the, the, the wealthy merchant son that he was, uh, without his horse, without nice clothes, you know, it probably began to stink a little bit, and he's begging like everybody else, and there's people condescendingly throwing coins at him, or whatever, but he's processing it, because in the midst of people, he's withdrawn to process this. And then, you know, he comes out on the other side, and he, he I always like to just look at his clothing, Francis, after after he's left his uh, after he's left Assisi, he'll never go back to live in Assisi. Uh, once once he left there, he changes clothes three different times. His clothes become symbols of who he is, and that only tells us that he didn't quite figure out what he was supposed to do or be in the beginning. Should he be a Benedictine? Should he be a hermit? Should he just be a poor farmer or laborer or? How was this all going to be put together? And, and so he does that. Let us go to God's house with rejoicing. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house, and now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment, of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say, peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When you rose from the dead, Lord Jesus, you formed the church into your new body and made of it the new Jerusalem united in your spirit. Give us peace in our day. Make all nations come to your church to share your gifts and fellowship, that they may render you thanks without end and come to your eternal city. In the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we ask your continued blessing on our life in the fraternity. And in our time of conversion this Lenten season, we ask you to bless those who are marginalized and go without, and that we might also be thankful with the blessings that we receive. We ask this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.